Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing and demoing the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Holiday Collection. This is her first, I think, 20, yeah, her 2021 holiday collection for Christmas time. And I'm so excited. I got all six of the glaze over shimmers. I got all four liquid lips and lip liners. And I also did get three of the lip lacquers. The only things I didn't get was the face palette, which I was really turned off by. It was something that I wasn't really excited about. And the primer oil, I'm very, very oily. So that's a definitely a no for me. So I skipped on that. And then I also didn't get one lip lacquer just because I didn't want to get that one. But everything else, like the glaze over shimmers, I got that in a bundle that was 130. The value is 156. And I got the holiday pout bundle, which is 125. And the value is 152. And then there was a bundle for the glaze lip bundle. And it is $60 with $72 value. I only got three, so I think they're all retail for $18. Let me check for you. I'm reading this off the Jaclyn website. Yeah, so $18. So I have nothing on my eyelids because I wanted to go ahead and do my eye makeup with you guys. And because this is a Jaclyn video, I did use her bronzer and blush duo. I used her highlighter. Well, I used her highlighter in the shade Sparks. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and use the collab she did with Morphe for my eyes, just cause I feel like it's only right to do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab Boo Bear. And please don't mind my nails. Place this in my crease. And I'm, I'm going in on the outer V in circular motions. These shadows are so pigmented. And with this same brush, which is the MAC 217 brush, I'm going to use the shade Cinnamon Roll. Tap this on my outer V. Slowly dragging it into the crease. Now with my E3 brush by Mario, I'm gonna take Boo Bear again, just a little bit. Blend out these edges. Now with my Sigma shadow blending brush, I'm gonna take the shade Booked. Now mesh these shades together. Now with my Morphe Times Ariel A11 brush, I'm gonna take the shade Good Vibes, which is this one right here, and blend out these edges. I am gonna go back with Boo Bear with that same Makeup on Mario E3 brush. With my Morphe Times Ariel A19 brush, I'm taking this flat definer brush and using the shade Cinnamon Roll for my lower lash line. Pressing it against my lower lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with Boo Bear again with my A29 Ariel brush. Now with my Morphe M507 brush, I'm gonna take the shade Booked. Running this with these other shades. 
All right, so I'm gonna clean up my inner portion of my lid and then do my other eye and then we're gonna hop into the glaze all over shimmer top coats, okay? All right, so I already cleaned up my lids and I used my Lancome Tint Eye Dole Ultra Wear all over concealer to clean up my inner portion of my lids, which you can use anything to do that. For me, I just like using that concealer because it is kind of matte. So now I got all six of the Jaclyn Glaze All Over Shimmer Tops. And let me tell you, they are gorgeous. I only opened one to see what they look like and they are stunning. I will zoom you in so you guys can see these lip toppers in action. But first, I am gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys so you guys can see the colors. So let's start with the shade Tinsel. And they do come in this beautiful glass packaging. This is the top, it has her logo on it, and the name is on the bottom. So this is the shade Tinsel, and they are, they feel like super spongy and like wet. It says, the description of this product says, it's evoke the spirit of a snow queen with Jaclyn Hills glaze, all, glaze over shimmer top coat for a gold snap of wintry sheen. Buildable water-based shadow can top off any look with a subtle sparkle or a full on glassy sheen like a forest like frozen over. So this is the shade Tinsel. They do feel kind of wet and watery. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. I don't know if the camera's picking up how beautiful this shade is. Oh no, I dug my nail into the product. So pretty. The consistency is just so different and this is a product inside. Obviously I dug my nail in it on accident. Consistency does feel a little crazy. Next shade we have is Frozen. This is what it looks like. And it just feels so weird. I'm not used to this texture. But how beautiful is that? I don't know if my lights are catching how beautiful and reflective this is. They remind me of uh, the ColourPop Super Shock, but these feel wetter, if that makes sense. And this is going to be North Star. Next up is Glisten. And I am wiping off my finger every time I dip into a new shade. This is in the shade Glisten. The reflex in here are just gorgeous. I think I was most excited about these more than anything. Next we have Glassy, which is a more like pinkier shade. Man, this shade's gorgeous. And I'm sorry if my swatches are sucky. And then last but not least, we have Icicle. And this one so far is the one that's sold out. The bundle's sold out, all the bundles are sold out. Um, everything individually is still in stock, except for like a couple of shades. Like this is the only one that's out of stock. This is Icicle. You can barely see that one. This one looks like more of like a, a topper than anything. The other ones were kind of pigmented. The This one was looks like it could be more of a topper. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my hand. So I think, well, first of all, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. All right, perfect. 
So I think I wanna try and do two shades or three. Um, let's see, I wanna use the shade Frozen first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right here. Wow, they feel so weird on the lid. I feel like the best way to apply this is to really tap it on with your finger to get the sparkles to come out. I do want to go ahead and try it with a brush. So this is my JH42 brush. I'm going to try that on this side. I think I like using my finger more than a brush. Oh yeah, way better with the finger. Now for this portion right here, I'm gonna use the shade Glisten, which is this one. Here's my finger. I feel like you can barely see the other shade that I placed down. All right, so I wonder if I can use Icicle to make these shadows or these um, shimmer top coats apply or seem sparklier. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Icicle and lightly tap it over all the other shades. Look at the difference. That looks so pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I think I'm gonna use Glassy as inner corner highlight. So we'll see how this looks, which is this shade right here. That's so pretty. I'm actually really, really excited to use these for the holidays. So I did end up using four out of the six shades. So there's two more I didn't use. It was the Tinsel shade and North Star. But honestly, look how beautiful this is. I kind of wanna use these for my wedding day. Because literally you could just take one shade, pop it over the lid and use a matte in the crease and you're golden, that's all you really need. All right, so I'm gonna go apply my mascara and falsies, I'll be right back. So I am gonna be lip swatching all of her lip lacquers first. So let's read the description. These do retail for $18 each, and the only shade that's not in stock is Cookies, and it says it's a kissable pout for a snowed in holiday. Jacqueline's lip lacquers are like her signature liquid lips sticks and a gloss in one smooth swipe. A blend of jojoba seed, avocado, and olive oil to visibly smooth and soften lips. Get the high impact pigment she's known for with a gorgeous high shine finish that looks delicious as a holiday cookie. So let me go ahead and zoom me in just a little bit. So the first shade I'm taking is Gumdrop. This is Gumdrop. First impressions, these are freaking pigmented, which I kind of knew they were gonna be like that just because these are lip lacquers, not your typical lip gloss. Next up is the shade Ginger. By the way, these smell amazing. This is the shade Ginger. And 
And the last shade I have is Cookie. I am in love with this shade. It looks like my lips, but better. This is Cookie. All right, so those are the lip lacquers and first impressions, I need her to come out with more shades because these are absolutely amazing. The formula is super, super beautiful and the smell just smells like straight up cookies or candy. I don't know, I just love the smell of them. It's not too powerful. And these are not your typical lip glosses. They are gonna be a little bit tacky just cause they're lacquers, not gloss glosses. So if you don't like that, just keep that in mind. But I absolutely love them. I can't wait till mask mandates are over and I can start wearing my lip glosses and all of my darker shades. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do swatches of the liners with their corresponding liquid lip. Yeah, my lips are gonna heat me. So let me zoom you in once again. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Unwrap Me in the lip liner. I love her lip liners and her liquid lips. I feel like her formula is just super beautiful. And don't come at me if my lining isn't right, just cause I do have a lot to line my lips with. So this is Unwrap Me. Beautiful shade. Let me go ahead and apply the liquid lip. This is what the bottle looks like. It's so pretty. So this is a little bit darker than the lip liner. I mean, it's the same formula as her OG lip liners and the good lips, so you guys already know how I feel about them. This is Unwrap Me. Such a beautiful shade. Next up is Bow. This is Bow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the liquid lip. This is a liquid lip. Bow. Next up is flannel. Sorry that my lip liner is becoming a little bit more messy. So this is flannel. I think I mixed matched one on accident, sorry guys. But flannel is this one. Now this is flannel. My lips are getting stained now. Now, the very, very last shade is gonna be stocking. And now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lip and stocking. This is stocking. All right, so I did go ahead and clean up around my lips with my concealer, but look how gorgeous this lip is. 
Um, so yeah, I do live for a good dark vampy lip and all these colors are my jam. And I don't think I told you how much the liquid lips were with the lip liners. So for the liquid lips, each shade is worth $20. And then for the lip liners, each shade is $18. But if you got the Holiday Lip Lover Bundle, which is $190. And then that includes lip lacquers, lip liners, and the Loka Lips. But she does have the Holiday Pout Bundle, which is just the lip liners and the Loka Lips. And then the Sweet Glaze Lip Bundle, which is $60. So those are pretty good bundles, especially if you just are curious for one specific thing. But I do know all of them are all sold out. So each one individually is 20, 18, and 18. And to be quite honest with you guys, I wasn't so, so excited about this collection. But now that I tried them out and I have the lippies and the lacquers, I want to keep them all. First, I was like, if I don't like them, I'm just going to return them and get my money back. But honestly, I'm staying with every single product I got because everything applied beautifully. The lip, the look of the lips and the lacquers are so gorgeous. Don't get me started on the shimmer top coats. These are freaking gorgeous. And I am not being paid to say this. This is my personal opinion and I won't, and I won't tell you guys to get something that I don't like personally. Overall, I loved everything in the collection. Like I said, I, only, I didn't get the face palette and the oil, which I was intrigued by, but everything else was a major hit. If you guys got this collection, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about it. What do you think about the collection? Are you thinking about grabbing it? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like, comment down below, and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.